Hi, welcome back to Beyond the Classroom. For today's video, we're going to talk about converting AutoCAD file into a PDF. And we will also cover the PDF going back to AutoCAD and scaling it. If you will finish the video, I will explain step by step on how to export a PDF file from an AutoCAD layout in the paper space, as well as how to export a PDF file from AutoCAD in drawing area. Next, I'm going to show you how to import a PDF file back to AutoCAD in case you lost the file. And since it is imported, I will show you how to rescale it back to the original scale of drawing 1 is to 1. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please click subscribe and don't forget to click the ring button for the notification. This video is brought to you by a request from my former student to Jason Maravellas. Hey Jason, shout out! Request granted. So now let's get into it. To start with, I'm going to show you a file of my previous project. So this is now a completed plan and our first task for today's video is to export a PDF from a layout. So this is the model space and these are the layouts of the completed plan. If you're new to this one, please check the description of this video. I have included previous videos so you could follow. So for instance, so this is layout 2. Okay. And now this is the floor plan of that project. And I'm going to export this into a PDF file. So how to do that? To do that, please click Control p on your keyboard that is plot Control p and this batch plot will pop out so there is a notification if you want to have multiple drawings or a single for this example i will click continue a single plot since this is what i want to export as a pdf file so i'm gonna click continue left click continue to plot a single sheet and this plot a2 will pop out all right so here at the printer plotter we should click this left down arrow so we could choose from the printer so since we are going to export it into pdf we will select dwg to pdf dwg is autocad extension so i'm gonna click this one all right and here at the plot pen assignment okay we should make sure it is monochrome so if we did not choose monochrome whatever the color of our layout will follow so this is a colorful plan but we need to plot it in monochrome so it would be black and white all right monochrome and pdf file now to check with, let's start previewing it first. So I'm going to left click here at preview. And then it shows that this is what it looks like apparently after we publish it. Okay, I'm good with it. I'm going to click enter. Okay, and now I'm going to select OK on this plot A2 tab. And this will show up. Now, as you can see, it is now dot pdf extension is a pdf file so if i'm going to save it for example i'm gonna make a folder here at the documents file i'm gonna name it pdf export sample i'm gonna save it there a2 and save now that's it so this is now the PDF file. I'm using a Nitro Pro Reader, but if you have a reader of PDF Acrobat, it's just the same. So that's it. Easy, right? Now this is a PDF file of an E3 from the layout of the AutoCAD. All right, moving forward. Our next task is to export another PDF, but this time the file is on the drawing area. So this is one example. Actually, this is the plate of my basic 2D AutoCAD drawing students at Carlos Ilado Memorial State College. So 
uh, this moment in time, we will not uh, use this layout, but instead we will be here at the model space and this is the drawing area. So if you have files here that you want to export in PDF, you can also do that. So how do we do it? Again, let's hit Control P on our keyboard. That's block. Okay. Next, we click uh, Continue Single Sheet. All right. And this will show up again. Familiar, right? So again, let's change this into a PDF. Same as we did last one. And make sure it is also uh, monochrome. And now let's go here at the plot area this time we will click this drop down arrow which say display okay now we will choose window window left click on it and now see that our mouse pointer which is the crosshair changes and it asks us specify the first corner so I'm gonna left click here at the area of the band paper in the end point. Since this is a long size band paper, so this is the area of band paper. I'm gonna left click down here. I'm gonna drag my mouse. I'm gonna bring the cross here at the top corner left of this band paper. Left click again. Okay, so that's it. That's the window. I'm going to preview it again so we could see if it's correctly done. And there it is. See? So there it now. So if I click OK. OK. And if I click OK. Save. This is what it looks like. All right. So this is now a PDF exported file from our model space easy also right so that's the second on to the third one so this time what if what if in the instant that we lost the autohead file and we only got this pdf apparently the good thing is we can import it back to the autohead drawing and turn it back into a AutoCAD file. All right, interesting, right? Let's do it. So granting that we've lost that, I hope you don't, but just in case, I'm gonna open a new file. Granting that I don't have that, I'm gonna open in the trip. All right, now we're gonna import that file here. To do that, let's go to insert. And you can see a lot. And go down here, it says import PDF. All right. So we're gonna left click here, import PDF, and then I'm gonna search that file. So I'm gonna, so it's here at the documents, I made a folder here earlier. It's that again, sample, oh yeah, this one, PDF export sample, okay. And what we are going to import is this A2, which is a floor plan if granting that we've lost that AutoCAD original file. Okay, and then I'm gonna click open. And I can see this import PDF browse will show up. And if you could see, if you could click it's vector solid true films, use PDF layers, use layers. So if the PDF has it layers, it will be granted in the import. And if I click options, you could see that location display. I'm gonna close that one. I'm gonna hit OK. And then it would look like this one. All right, such a mess. But partly what I really want is just the floor plan. So I could save my time from redoing it from scratch since I have a PDF. The first step that we should do is to actually find a reference point which we're gonna check if what is the exact dimension since it, this is an imported uh, floor plan. So right here I'm gonna use this 2.5. So apparently the distance from this column here going to the next column is 2.5 meters. 
This time we're gonna check what is the exact distance as of the moment since it is already scaled. So to do inquire the distance, let's hit in the keyboard the DIST that is distance. Gonna hit enter on the keyboard or the spacebar. It does the same, your choice. And then the AutoCAD says specify first point. So my first point is this column here. Gonna left click on it and I'm gonna drag my mouse going to the next column. I want you to pay attention on the distance given by the AutoCAD. So the distance of the first column going to the next column is 2501.62. So at this moment in time, that is the exact distance from one column to another. We're going to take that note. 2501.62. Gonna do it here. Come here. So it should be 2.5 meters, but for this moment in time, the distance actually is 2501.62. Okay, let's check the units first. U N I S T on the keyboard. Enter. So the decimal precision is 20 and I want it to be in meters. So I'm gonna close this. Okay, I'm good. That's the units. I need to check it first. So this moment in time, the distance is this one and I want this to become 2.5 meters. So what we're going to do is reference scaling. I'm gonna move this one so we could check it. Reference scale. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to select the whole thing, select, and then we're going to scale it. To do scale, you could left click on the scale on this modifier ribbon, or that is SC on the keyboard shortcut, and then hit enter. And then the AutoCAD says specify base point. The base point is anywhere, it's regardless of, I'm going to left click anywhere here, probably here, or here, it's your choice, left click. And then if I drag my mouse, it would scale that one, but I don't want that to scale randomly. I need to reference scale it. Next, we're going to hit R on the keyboard. R means reference. R, answer. The first reference scale that we're going to input is the actual distance of that first column to the second, which is 2501.62. Enter. The next scale that I'm going to input is the scale that I want. That is 2.5 meters. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. And voila. It was gone. What happened? What I'm going to do is double click on the scroll button of my mouse. Okay, to zoom in so I could see that this went big and that went small. I'm going to delete this one. Delete. Gonna double click again, and this is now the floor plan. What I did is just double click the scroll button on the mouse that is zoom extend <laughs> over there. So if you lost your drawing, it became too small. What you're gonna do is double click on that scroll button on the mouse twice, and the drawing will show up on your screen. Okay, let's check if we did scaling correctly to inquire the IST again. Cross fingers, this should be 2.5 meters. Enter. Then I'm gonna left click here and bring that mouse. Look at that! It's now 2.5. Okay, so if we put dimensions now here, I'm gonna drag it. It's 2.5. Voila! Hooray! We did it. Easy, right? So that's reference scaling. So it saves time. Just in case that you have lost, I hope you it will not happen to you, but sometimes it really does. So we could uh, put it back here at AutoCAD. Easy, right? So if you had another uh, tutorial, you can also request. Please leave the comments below. I am really glad to help you all. That's it. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed. See you at the next video.